Hello, my name is Victor Christensen and I'm the director of SecPoint.com. I'm here today to show you how to log into a Penetrator appliance and how to start a new audit. I just log in here with the username admin and I click on login. When I log in, I get here to the Penetrator front page and I can simply click on start audit. Now there are three steps to complete a new audit. In the first field here, I put in the audit name and I can put in the name of the target system I'm scanning. And here I'll put in test system. I can also use the audit accounts and this will be explained in another video how to use that. Now I click next. And now I can choose which IP addresses I want to scan. Or I can simply put in a host name and in this case here I'll put in forum.secpoint.com. Always remember before you scan an IP address or a host you must have the permission to do so. And then I click on add. And here we can see it found out the IP address automatically. I then click on next. And now I can simply start the audit by clicking on create audit. I can also go to audit advanced setup. And here I have several options. First I can put in a node. I can put in specific ports. For example, if we only want to scan port 80 or for example port 443. By doing this, you can make your scans less noisy if you are scanning a firewall since it will not do a port scan. So now I add port 80 and I add port 443 for SSL traffic. And then I click on OK button. And um, now I can also go in and put specific directories or I can put in a virtual host. It is very useful to put in a virtual host if for example multiple domains are running on the target IP address. So in this case here I will put in forum.secpoint.com because I know on the same IP address they are running other sites. And I will click on OK. And I can also set an email address so I get an email uh, once the scan has completed. And I can put in my own uh, email address that is victor at checkpoint.com. Click on the OK button. And we also have something called aggressive auditing. And when you do aggressive auditing, this is only recommended if you are scanning a pre-production system that is not already online. Here I can enable heavy overflow attacks, denial of service and heavy brute force attacks. Since the system I am scanning is a real life system that is running, I will not enable those attacks. So I simply click on back and then I click on back again. And now we can see here it has put in the DNS virtual host name. It has put in the, the port uh, I specified and now it will send an email address when the scan has completed. So I can simply click on create audit. And now the scan will first queue and then it will begin the scanning process. I can actually click on this test system that is the audit name we made. And then I can see how far the scan is and I can even click on the process when it is running to see exactly what type of attacks it is doing. Depending on how many IP addresses you are already scanning, possibly in other accounts, will determine how fast the scan starts. Now the scan has started and we can see here it is now at 5%. I can click on the refresh button to refresh the page and the system will also automatically refresh. Now I can actually click on the 5% and I can see exactly what is going on in the scan. So here we can see that now the scan has started. We can see it has 
done uh, who is information firewall testing host information checks it is now doing port scanning and you can see exactly what is going on typically a scan will take everything from possibly 20 minutes and to a few hours depending on how many ports and services it will find on the target system so and now i click on back to get back to the front page and here we can see the audit is in progress so thank you for watching this video presentation and to get a free scan you can always visit www.segpoint.com thank you